This short video is going to address some of the questions that come up as people are trying to graph inequalities on WAMAP. We're going to look at all the different types of inequalities that could come up and look at how we graph them and also what is actually graphed on WAMAP, what is actually part of the final solution. So for this first inequality, x is greater than negative 3 and x is less than 2. I'm going to put 0 here, negative 3 down here, and 2 up here. When I'm graphing this first inequality, x is greater than negative 3. That's with an open dot at negative 3 and bigger. This isn't part of my answer. This is just me showing my work as I get to my answer. The second half is x is less than 2, which means from 2 we're going down. Now, what actually is part of my answer with an and inequality, and means I'm looking for where these overlap. And you notice the overlap starts at negative 3 and ends at 2. The two graphs overlap everywhere in between. So what actually makes it onto my answer, what I actually graph on WAMAP is just between negative 3 and 2, just between negative 3 and 2. Nothing else is all I'm going to graph on WAMAP. That is my final answer. Now, there's a couple variations of and inequalities that could come up. So let's take a look at them. This next example, x is less, greater than negative 1 and greater than 3. So again, I'm going to graph the first inequality in blue from negative 1. Greater means it's going up. From 3, greater means it's going up. Again, because this is an and inequality, we're looking for where these graphs overlap. And you notice the overlap starts at 3 and goes up is where the overlap is. So all I'm going to graph is starting at 3, going up to infinity, really. That is all that makes it on my final graph in WAMAP, because that is my final answer. How about this next example? x is less than 2, and x is greater than 4. So here's 0, here's 2, here's 4. The first graph, x is less than 2, is from 2 down. The second graph, x is greater than 4, is from 4 up. Again, because this is an and, we're looking for where these graphs overlap. But what you notice is these graphs do not overlap. They are completely separate from each other. This is why we will say in interval notation, the answer does not exist because they do not overlap, which means there should be nothing on your graph in WAMAP. Nothing on your graph in WAMAP. So those are kind of the three possible results that you could get from an AND. AND, you're looking for the overlap, the smaller of the graphs, what works for both of them. With OR, we're just looking for what works in either the first one or the second one or both. So for this first OR example, we've got x is less than 1, or x is greater than 3. So if here's 0, here's 1, and here's 3, starting with x is less than 1, we go from 1 down. And x is greater than 3, we're going from 3 up. Now, OR says anything that works on one graph is going to be good enough to make it on the other graph. The only part that misses is this gap in the middle. So we have the 1 down to negative infinity and the 3 up to positive infinity. There is this gap in the middle that does not get graphed. That gap is where we get our union from in our interval notation. The union jumps the gap. So our final answer is just this final graph in orange. Two more examples here. Let's look at 
x is less than, if zero is there, we got negative 1 here. We'll put 2 up here. If x is less than negative 1, we go from negative 1 down. If x is less than 2, we go from 2 down. Now, or is just looking on what works for one graph or the other, or. So from 2 down, we're working on one graph. And then from negative 1 down, we're working on both graphs. But what's important is what makes it to the final answer is from 2 down. Notice I did not include a circle at negative 1 in my graph on WAMAP. If I had included a dot there, it would have meant there was a hole in the graph and negative 1 does not work. But negative 1 does work on the green graph. So we only need to put the points on the graph that are at the extremes. Not every solution, just the extremes. That's all we're looking for with or. So this is what your final graph on WAMAP should look like. The last example, greater than 0 or less than 2. The first graph goes from 0 up. The second graph goes from 2 down. So what goes on to WAMAP? Well, since it's an or, anything that works on one graph also works on the final answer. So we've got the green on the left. We've got both in the middle. We've got the blue on the right. But what you notice is there are no gaps, no holes. Every single number works on at least one or the other. And so this is where we get the idea that we're going from negative infinity to positive infinity. Everything is working on there. So your final answer should be the entire number line on WAMAP. Notice again, there is no dot at 0. There's no dot at 2, because those are not the extremes. There is no gap in the graph. The graph goes all the way, so we don't need the dots in our graph. And in interval notation, we go from negative infinity, which is two lowercase o's, to positive infinity. So hopefully this short video helped you uh, make sure you're typing in your answers correctly into WAMAP for all the different cases. Good luck to you on this unit.